Hi friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome to another JavaFX video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at the Button Bar class in JavaFX. According to the Javadoc, a button bar is essentially an HBox with the additional functionality for operating system specific button placement. The button bar also provides uniform button sizing where all buttons will take the width of the widest button in the button bar. Let's create a new button bar and see how this all works. Button bar, button bar. equals new button bar. I'm going to set some padding on the button bar. Button bar dot set padding. New insets. And I'll use 10 all the way around. Next, I'm going to create a couple of buttons to add to the button bar. I'm going to create a yes button and a no button. Button, button yes equals new button and the word yes on the button. Let's also create the no button. Button no equals new button. No. Now we'll add these buttons to the button bar. Button bar dot get buttons dot add all button yes and button no and now we'll add the button bar to the bottom area of our border pane which is the root of our scene graph let's run our program to see what the button bar looks like. So we have a button bar that is at the bottom of our screen in the bottom area of our border pane. And we have two buttons, the yes and the no button. They're both the same size and currently they are right aligned in the button bar. The layout of buttons in a button bar is controlled by an operating system specific set of annotations. And those annotations are different based on whether you're running your program with the button bar on a Windows computer or a Mac computer or a Linux computer. Let's take a quick look at the Java doc. Here is a screenshot of button placement for the Windows, the Mac, and the Linux computer. Let's just take a quick look at the yes and no button. So on a Windows computer, the yes button is always to the left of the no button. On a Mac computer, it's normally the other way around, the no on the left and the yes on the right. And the same thing with uh, a Linux computer, the no and the yes. But the button placement is controlled by a, what at first glance appears to be a cryptic string for Windows. You'll see it's L underscore E plus U plus and so on. And the same for Mac and Linux. Each of these characters is an annotation that can be attached to a specific button that's contained in your button bar. And I'll show you what that looks like by looking at the button bar dot button data class. So here we see the three operating system specific button ordering strings that we just looked at for Windows or Mac and for Linux. And then these are broken down based on the individual character in the button data enumeration. So for example, button data dot left, which is signified by the single character L. If you look back up at our button ordering strings, the L's, are always all at the, the left. A button with the tag left will be aligned to the left, and a button with the tag right will be aligned to the right, and so forth. So let's look at adding these tags to our buttons. We add these tags to a button by using a static method of the button bar class. Bar 
dot set button data, the variable name for our button, button yes, and the tag button data dot. And here are all the types of uh, tags that we looked at just a moment ago. So I'm going to use button data dot yes for the yes button. I'll copy and paste for the no button. And I'll change that to the no button and change the tag to no. So this means that for this button bar on a Windows computer, the buttons will display the yes button to the left of the no button and they'll be aligned to the right by default. So let's run our program. You'll see that there is no difference in the way that the buttons are displayed. We can also change the order of the display of the buttons. If you want, if you want to control the layout of the buttons yourself, this is how you do it. We'll say button bar dot set button order. And here we provide our own string that uh, replaces the operating system specific ordering of the buttons. So for example, if we wanted the no button to be to the left of the yes button, we would say N and Y. And then if we wanted them right aligned, we would put a big gap, which forces the buttons to right align. So we run that. We'll now see that they are again right aligned, but the no button should be to the left of the yes button. If we wanted them to be centered, I believe we just remove the big gap or plus sign annotation and we'll run them and now they should display centered in the button bar. And say for the sake of argument that we wanted the yes button to be left aligned and the no button to be right aligned. One way to do that would be to change the button data assigned to each. So for the yes button, I'm going to say button data dot left. And for the no button, I will say button data dot right. Let's now comment out the setting of the button order. And now when we run the program, we should see the yes button to the left and the no button to the right of the button bar. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.